this is a disaster waiting to happen, but I'm curious to see how far it gets. Look at that, no damage done. <laughs> All right, I'm currently at a hostel. And the way these things work is it's like a cheaper version of a hotel. In most cases, you'll be in a room with a bunch of other strangers. There's co-ed, there's male, female. This one in particular is a co-ed with a private bathroom. So it's basically college dorms, but hotel version. I've been to two already, but they've all been occupied by people already. So taking this opportunity to do a little walk around because if people were here, it'd look weird. Who knows, I might have the whole place to myself. Oh yeah, a little toilet here, a little sink here, a little shower here. Shower head is a little too low for me. That'll be an issue. A little floor mat, that's nice. And yeah, four beds, four lockers. Everyone's got their own little light. And this is the view. A lovely crane. <laughs> now, from beyond the crane, it gets a little better. With the bridge and stuff. A couple skyscrapers. Pretty nice. I feel like this is going to be one of the better hostel experiences I've had because they've been pretty bad so far. And this one has air conditioning. That's awesome. None of the other two did. So yeah, I'm gonna fire it up. This elevator is insane. I'm on the rooftop of my hostel, at the rooftop pool. The view is gorgeous up here. I'm gonna go for a swim. Just like last time, I did not bring sunscreen. Oh, this is cold. <laughs> I don't think there's a pool that isn't cold. All right, well, I gotta go all out. That's so refreshing. <laughs> so yeah, no sunscreen, I won't be here very long. Let's try this. Brisbane is a very colorful place. They got artwork everywhere. Here's some right here by the pool. Gorgeous. See that up there? That's the clock tower. And that's where I'm going next. I just missed the three o'clock charms. So I'm a little upset about that. But they have a little elevator they can go up. The original elevator, so I'm gonna do that. Stay tuned. Got a couple wacky sculptures right here. Check this one out. Let's get those in there. Probably get all the way through. And then there's what looks like a, a bunch of mines on the other side of the road.
Yeah, it sure looks old. <laughs> yeah, um, 1930. Wow. About circa 1930, you said? Yes. Yes. After time, it's 1930. It's had a few modifications over the years, but the cage itself is the same length. So, uh, a new motor was installed with the lift uh, in the 1960s, uh, which made it mostly automatic, uh, but for about 30 years it was fully manual with brake. So, uh, the, the lift driver that was their job was to be in the lift and to take people up and down <laughs> all day, and they'd know exactly how long it took to go. I'm curious to see how panoramas were made back in the day before you just rotate your phone on a line. <laughs> Because these are all panoramas. Almost looks like a lean to. Oh, here's the real thing. The lights are doing weird things to the camera. <laughs> They're LEDs, and this is shooting at 24 frames per second. those are. Maybe Mitsubishi's. <laughs> What's well, cool about Australia is the bats are even in inner cities. 